Hello and welcome gorgeous Scorpio to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. Let's take a look at your cards and the messages that Spirit would like to bring through for you. Be sure to connect in with your own intuition throughout the reading. This is how Spirit speaks directly to you. You may see a sign, a symbol, a message on one or several of the cards. If you do take notice of this because it is a direct message from spirit to you and your situation. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. Let's take a look at your first card here. We have Capricorn. So you may have a Capricorn in your life, perhaps. Unleash your kindest self, not only to others, but also to yourself. So there's going to be an opportunity for this to happen. There's going to be a blessing on you if you consciously do this. Um, yeah, it's a really nice uplifting energy, actually. And I feel the energy going out from you is going to come back towards you with a surprise gift. The gift from the universe, it'll come through in an unexpected way. Yeah, I love that. Beautiful. And we have a Capricorn again. So definitely for someone, there's a Capricorn of importance. Step up and lead. Maybe in your workplace or in your business or your personal life somehow, you need to step up and take a leadership role over a situation or over your own ego or what, you know, whatever this is for you. Step up and take the lead. You, you're given the green light to do this. So now is the time to do it. Guidance for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Angels and Guides, bring through a message for Scorpio, please. This one here I feel is yours. The answers you need are coming. The full moon in Gemini. So we have Gemini that may be important in your life. And so Spirit's saying here that there will be answers that you have been praying for or that you've been holding an intention toward manifesting. Um, some guidance in some way and they are coming okay so that's a message here and it's very clear spirits being very clear the answers you need are coming and there's two cards there actually so let's read them both meditate and contemplate and there might be a pisces in your life perhaps meditate and contemplate do you need to do this a little bit more has it been on your agenda or to-do list because if it has, there's going to be immense blessings and, and beautiful energy that surrounds you and great insights, psychic insights that you receive. Great intuitions. And we have a Leo as well. So a Leo perhaps is important to you. Confidence is your key to success. Maybe you're needing to be more confident in your meditations or in your decisions and so maybe you need to be more confident in the universe that they're going to the universe is going to provide answers to you but there's confidence that's needed this week maybe it's to do with your work or maybe it's to do with your relationships but this is the key to your success this week i love it i really like that energy for you let's take a look this one here wants to come out and one more card from this deck please spirit okay this one here so let's take a look and it's the card of rest be still and listen mm, very much an energy in alignment with meditate and contemplate it's time for more rest maybe you're going to find you have more time to rest recuperate maybe you're recovering but there's going to be a message that you receive if you're still if you listen to your inner voice yeah, maybe that's how the energy or the answers come through to you is going to be through um, being still and listening to your inner voice. Realignment is necessary. So you might already know in what area of life this is, what this means for you. Where is there a realignment that's happening? Feel the ebb and flow of life going to have to realign either it's already happening and some changes are happening or it's going to be coming in this week for you and and if it does when it does come in just feel the ebb and flow know that it's a it's a dynamic energy and it's all to do with realignment 
might be connected to leadership in some way as well okay so let's see guidance for scorpio and this one here and it's the card of abundance beautiful count your blessings being thankful and being very grateful for what you have in your life is going to bring more abundance to you but you have to have a gratitude heart to begin with so count your blessings this week and watch the abundance flow and you have the card of strength which is actually leo's card in the tarot so yeah definitely a leo might be around you know your strength know your strength you do have strength and yeah i feel these two cards are connected actually know your strength know that you have confidence or you should have confidence in a certain situation because you have a strength in this area that you may not even know that you do have strength but it's there and you've got this leo energy supporting you know your strength beautiful guidance for scorpio please spirit angels and guides bring through a message for scorpio please all right this one here is yours the seven of water make a choice stop procrastinating or overanalyzing get clarity on what you desire and move forward too many options and maybe addictions as well that you're working through or that you're becoming aware of or habits or things like this that you would rather change so you can make a choice you can make a choice a different choice but you need to stop procrastinating you need to stop overanalyzing as well the nine of air, unfounded fear, expecting the worst, thus creating self-fulfilling prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation, sleepless nights, refocus your thoughts. That's the message of this card, actually. It's about refocusing your thoughts so you don't have sleepless nights, so you can, maybe there's a realignment happening, a realignment mentally uh, with your thoughts. The ego, okay, so the ego might be in control of a situation perhaps because you might be feeling that you're trapped but it's just an illusion. So accept responsibility for your situation and then make choices that support your path to happiness. Addictions or unhealthy habits, so we have that energy again coming through of addictions uh, but you do have a choice to break the chains whatever this uh, situation is uh, might be someone else's ego that is putting pressure on you perhaps the nine of water wishes come true your dreams become reality a dream will come true either this week or sometime in the next few weeks for you whether it's large or small in your life a dream will come true and isn't this interesting we have all the cups here the choices that you have in this card of the seven it looks like you're going to be manifesting, creating your, um, you're making a choice and you're going to, it's going to be really positive because a wish will come true. Um, the outcome that you want will happen. Mm. A magical time in life, you will have good fortune and faith that the universe, uh, faith in the universe that all will be well. Yes balance this is temperance sagittarius's cards you may have a sagittarius in your life of importance blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary successful compromise the power of diversity self-control patience and balance well balance is always a good thing to come into your life no matter how it comes in so that is there for you this is also about moderation um and when dealing with others or communicating with another this week there will be a compromise that is reached and the seven of air a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom so that's going back to the message of the ego breaking the chains an illusion of being trapped um, loss of peace of mind is the nine of air 
but I see balance right next to this card. So I feel spirit is saying to you that balance will be achieved. Take caution and be aware of others' actions. That, that's a caution for you this week. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself and maybe some embarrassing secrets will come out. Interesting. Let's take a look at the pendulum now. If you have a question you'd like to ask spirit through the pendulum, you can think of that question now. And the answer is yes. So check in with your intuition, see how it resonates for you. It's been wonderful to read for you today. I hope spirits come through with some clear messages. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.